Okay, there's some videos and some still pictures. Uh, I hope you found them interesting. It was made at the last uh, two days of the spiny lobster season on a reef out in the Keys. That's the time, at the end of the season, you find your spiny lobsters out there on the reef. They're getting out there, they're getting ready to spawn, they've moved off the flats, and they're, and they're out there in the, where the clear water is, and so forth. Now, the stills I've got showed you right there were taken in Turks and Caicos in 1970, okay, a while back. And uh, the pictures, uh, I was taking those pictures because I was uh, taking pictures for National Geographic for an article they were going to do on spiny lobster. Kind of lives August, okay, as far as that goes. And uh, the article has the lifestyle of a spiny lobster in Florida and the Caribbean and the Bahamas. And the, the, the article came out in, it came out June uh, 1975, okay? The same year that the uh, Florida legislature instituted the mini season uh, for Florida. Uh, and that's when this toss was, came out and people started using it, when the mini season started. But long before that, as the pictures show you, they are using the toss in Turks and Caicos, excuse me. Now, the reason for the toss in, in uh, Turks and Caicos is because uh, you Google uh, Jacques Marl, world famous father of breath hole diving, they, they made me movies about him and everything. Now, me and him dove lobster together before he became a famous person. And I'll tell you something, in 1960, plus or minus a few years, he was in Caicos and Turkus. And he was using the uh, hook. Uh, this is a modified hook and what he was using. He was using a dowel a rod with a wired on hook. And he showed me a pictures where he'd caught approximately uh, six, eight hundred lobsters in a boat. He was in a boat in solid lobster. He caught these lobsters using the hook. And he caught so many, they outlawed the hook in Turks and Caicos. And that's when they started using the toss there. Now why they call it the toss, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. When I was down there taking pictures, they said this is the toss, and we toss lobster. Now, how they came about it, I can't tell you that. But that's the name it's used for this thing here. Now, uh, if you go into a dive shop and you see a name other than this, you go on the internet and you see some girl holding this up or someone holding it up, and they use a different name, they're wrong. They're not an authority. I am the get em guy, the number one get em guy for spiny lobster, not only in Florida, I'll go ahead and tell you the world. 
I'll tell you why, Florida. Because you're the only one you'll ever meet that's put 1,000, 1,200, 1,400 lobsters in the boat in a day diving, okay? And the other thing about it, I've caught lobster in Hawaii, and I've caught them between Chile and New Zealand, way out in the no man's ocean. Put that in your hat and think about it. So I've done a bit of lobstering, okay? So that's why I'm the authority on this. And when I tell you this is a toss, it's a toss. You want to dive charter boat, and the captain comes down, or the dive master, or someone on the boat says it. It's another name. They're wrong. It's a toss. Don't let a dive shop or anyone else tell you it's anything other than a toss because they give me the fact, okay? Now, there's another way of catching lobster. It's with your hand. If you got a lobster, and I got some video I'm going to show you that where I catch a couple of them by hand, but I didn't get the actual grab of them. You'll have to look at the video close to see it. But you find a lobster in a dead end hole, and there's no sea urchin, there's no more eel, maybe not even a lionfish. Then you go for it. You reach in there and you grab them. They'll go way up in the cave. You have to go up there, you have to fight them and pull them on out. That's the other way of catching them. You know, so anyway, I'm going to put some video on. We got the mini season coming up. If you're a real get em guy, you really know how to catch lobster and you're, you call yourself a get em guy, you won't go in the water unless you got the toss in your hand.